I'm doing an interview with someone amazing today that's going to talk to us about this new Facebook changes that was announced yesterday. So today I've had emails from people saying, do you know about the Facebook changes? And then I've gone into the business groups that I'm part of and everybody's talking about the new Facebook changes and how businesses are not going to be seen on timelines anymore. And I think, you know, it's fair enough that people are, I don't know, should I use the word panicking? Because they feel that this is almost like the end for businesses who are using Facebook to generate leads organically. So I got Mike, I was like, I literally picked up the phone because Mike is very good and this is what he does. He helps businesses of all sizes get engagement and also drive traffic from Facebook into their product and services. So this is what Mike does for a living. So I literally just like picked up the phone. I was like, Mike, you're coming on the call. You know, we're going to have a Q&A. We're going to do this. So um, this is really an impromptu call because it's still early days. But I thought it's good to jump on this and clarify certain things. So I'm going to bring Mike up now onto the call and I hope that works. Hello, Mike. Hello, the hell are you? I'm good. I've just been like saying amazing things about you. Oh, no, um, I heard. Thank you very much. <laughs> introducing you as the Facebook expert. Um, no, I didn't have time to put my mic up on this. This call was that quick. I know. I was like, Mike, get up, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know this time I'm going to give you enough notice. How much yeah. notice do you think you need for this oh, meeting? A couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need the same. I've been practicing. I've been waiting for this call for like a month. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you're always glamorous. Don't you worry about that. Thank you very much. <laughs> so let's do this. So, okay. So I actually have... Um, I have the Facebook updates that came from Mark, Mark Zuckerberg. Sorry, yes. I've got my phone going up in the background. No um, and I'm going to literally show. Can you see it? You can. Can you? Not? Yeah. I can, I can sort of see it. Yeah. I'm yeah. Gonna... yeah, that's good. I mean, me, me personally, I've seen a change in the whole business, um, Facebook, the, the way um, people are interacting with uh, business pages for quite a while now, probably for about six months. Um, Facebook business posts aren't being seen on, on timelines um, that much anymore. Um, I think you, as, as a business on Facebook now, you have to play the Facebook game as an advertiser so you have to be either a boosted post or um, posting things that are trending in your um, industry for them for them Facebook to pick it up so I think hashtags are working a lot better now on Facebook than they were um, so yeah trending trending hashtags um, but yeah as for organic uh, reach on Facebook business pages um yeah I've, I've seen a decline in the last six months so when you mean organic hashtag oh, oops, sorry when you mean hashtags working do you mean organically or using that in ads yeah yeah using that in inside your post as a hashtag inside posts on, on okay. the post. but but don't use it as um don't use it as spam so the hashtags have got to be things related to your to your post so okay. don't use things that are trending just because they're trending because then that will be seen as spam and you know you'll get reported so which will then obviously knock your authority on facebook because everything's all about authority all advertising is yeah. all about authority yeah so with these new changes and i guess the well i feel that they're probably doing the right thing because it feels like facebook is going back to what is traditionally meant to be. I think in Mark's email um, update, he said um, 
there's going to be more emphasis on engagements between family and friends. So it looks like they want it to be what Facebook is meant to be. And like even I'm a business owner on Facebook and sometimes I look at my my timeline, I'm like, I can't see anybody that, you know, I can't see my family and friends anymore. It's just all um, businesses and stuff like that. So with these new changes, what exactly, what are they saying with the changes that they want to bring in? They're exactly as you said, they want to bring uh, friends back together rather than the people that are using it as a business tool. Because it's, it's easy for someone to be sitting in an office working on the uh, the Facebook algorithm, um, being paid to do that. Whereas if you're sitting at home trying to connect with your friends and family, you know, you're obviously not, you're not getting paid to do that. So, you know, Facebook are cracking down on that. And, and I think Facebook want people to be paying for their advertising. Yeah. So as, um, you know, as I mean, I, I watched a, a, a webinar with Frank Kern probably two, three years ago now. And he said the only place to be as a business is either on on a timeline um, paid advert or on the right hand side. He said if you're trying to uh, gain business organically, he said um, it's costing you more time and money than paying for it. So, you know, that, that hit hard home to me. And Facebook advertising, it doesn't cost that much money anyway, really, compared to other platforms. So, it doesn't cost, did you say? No, it doesn't cost as much compared to other platforms. Yeah, absolutely. There are, there are other platforms out there that cost more than Facebook. So, you know, you, you can put, you know, uh, can't say a few dollars, but you can put a few dollars less into Facebook marketing and get more bang for your buck than, say, Google or um youtube or linkedin um because you know that they're charging they're charging more mm. i mean i love i I've, I've always loved the idea that i can put a mini from a post like this one and then boost that individual post exactly. um, but so little just to drive engagement or to make yeah. people um see that particular post and you know. and then once people are engaging with it and they start sharing it then the organic side of Facebook starts taking over because, you know, a, sh a shared post is, is free, free advertising. You know, once it's out on someone else's uh, page platform, then you've got their audience looking at it as well. So, you know, it's, um, but it's that initial spend. You need to initially spend your money to, to get that, you know, share or, you know, like or, and yeah. I, and I, what Mark Zuckerberg's tr uh, trying to trying to get. I think he's trying to get businesses, more businesses paying for their advertising. Absolutely, because it looks like a win-win for them. I don't know. Yeah, well, at yeah. this moment, because they're saying, well, we want more, um, we want more engagement between family and friends, which means actually they are going to then get back the audience that they had on this platform that current, I mean, for me, I know, the last few months i haven't been visible on facebook i've been on instagram because i sort of like just loved instagram and then i <laughs> and then so i i saw i um i went in you know I, I left facebook and i've been more active on instagram because the timeline is definitely so full of like um brands and stuff like that so with this new approach it's not even new as you say they've been doing it so with this approach would be able to it to become a more of a fun thing, which would then bring back the audience back into Facebook, which yeah. then shows that then they have the audience for the businesses and the brands that are paying for the ads. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's going to be win win for Facebook, and then also win win for the businesses because there will be more people on Facebook for the ads to put in, be put in front of. Because I think Facebook has been seeing a a decline in people being on Facebook or not on Facebook for, for as long as they were. So, you know, I think Instagram has been uh, taking over with, uh, you know, the, the time people are on it. So, mm. I mean, Facebook is, is still up there. I think Facebook is number one for uh, advertising and, and traffic. I think it goes Facebook, Google, YouTube, 
and then uh, Instagram. I, I think I think that's how it is at the moment. Yeah, I I remember. I think the last call I did last last week. Don't call me this, and I can't remember exactly. I think I pulled up the stats was two point five billion per yeah. month active users for Facebook, which is huge, you know. Yeah. Um, so what what is the implication? Because you've just said here yeah, that the best place for a business who's on Facebook yes. to, be, to be seen on Facebook is either in someone's timeline or on the side where the ads are. So for businesses who just have a Facebook page and normally they've been using that Facebook page to engage with um, their audience, yeah. this means now they're not going to be seen on the timeline. No, the only they, they will be seen on the timeline if they paid for it. If they paid so, for it, yeah, if they paid for a boosted post or an advert, they'll be seen in the timeline still, because obviously you're going out to your audience, your avatar that you've put together. Um, you'll be, you will still be seen, but you'll you'll have to be be paid paid advertising, and, okay. and paid advertising is is king anyway. Yeah. Um, and I went down the SEO route on Google, but you know, obviously that takes time and money. And for those uh, for their followers and fans that are already engaging with the Facebook page, they will still continue to see that brand on the timeline. Yeah. Okay. They would, yeah. yeah. Okay. So what is it I hear about? That and I'm not sure if this is right, but I'm, I think I heard that if you have a Facebook page and you're engaging on that Facebook page and people are not engaging back, that actually that's going to be worse for you because Facebook will actually stop even showing your feeds at all. Right. What it used to be was yeah, Facebook have been playing about with this algorithm for a while now. And um, on the, on the messenger. So if if you if you use messenger a lot, or if your customers message you a lot through your Facebook page, and you're not engaging with them through messenger, you will stop getting authority. You will stop ranking on on your on your Facebook business page. So you need to be engaging through messenger within an hour. If not fifteen minutes, fifteen minutes, and your and your authority will be higher. Oh, but that, wow. that that's been out there for a while now. That's been out there for at least uh, a year about uh, Facebook Messenger and business pages. Yeah, because my I remember my my Facebook page at the moment has gone so down. It's like my response rate apparently yeah. is like one day or something. Yeah. But the thing is, I get so many spam. How do you deal with getting so you? I get spam from people just going, "Hi, beautiful," or something like that. I understand. Oh, oh. But, you know, they, they are right. <laughs> but that is not business, you know. So I get things like that. How do you deal with? Um, you you know? set your Facebook Messenger up on your business page to to send them an auto response. Yeah, so that can be your first response. And then okay. your second response, you can tell them off for not being so professional. This is a business page, da, 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 and block them. Yeah. You know? I mean, I had somebody actually give me one star <laughs> on my Facebook page. Give me one star. And did somebody, like, I don't know, I, I looked at his profile. I think he lived in Nigeria. And I was, a bit, I was like, why did this person give me one, one star? I've never had any. You've never come to buy my videos, I've never mentored you, but the person lived in Nigeria and I looked at their profile and they're broken up with somebody called Falake. Ah, uh, see, it was you. Are you sure it wasn't you? <laughs> and so, you know, dealing with things like that, but my assistant actually started using this app called Mini Chat, and he yeah. engages with, um, with your audience via uh, the Facebook chat. So I think this is, so this is, the next thing, isn't it, to be able to to be engaging with people coming onto your page directly via the messenger? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you can even run adverts now uh, through Facebook ads to um, engage with you through messenger. So message us. So there, yeah. there's an advert there where you can actually um, get engagement 
through Messenger. So you start talking to your customers, which is good. Because people yeah. do business with people they know, like, and trust. So. Yeah, I actually like that. So, I mean, so it sounded like nothing has really changed that much. No, no nothing has changed. I mean, I, I can go back through a few pages that I have been involved with and I'm still involved with. And you can see the drop off of engagement that's happening on the, on those pages through no fault of the business owners. You know, it's all down to changes with Facebook. Yeah. You know, they're, they're still doing the same as they were 18 months, two years ago. But Facebook has changed the algorithm and changed the algorithm and changed the algorithm and, you know, it's, it's getting like uh, Google now, you know, they change it daily and you don't really know what's going on. So. Okay. So let's talk about strategies for businesses to use. So um, my one of my things, my business that I do is actually making videos for for social media ads. And I've always preached that you need to be authentic anyway, you know, because I know that some of the things that Facebook are pulling out are like, if you are trying actively, actually trying to get people to engage, so you use those type of titles to get people to answer questions, yeah. they're like cutting that off. Yeah. 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 Like and comment uh, bait. That's what they're calling it. Yeah. So, yeah. Like bait. Yeah. They're cutting it off. So they're cutting off. So you would not be visible. No. Um, so, so all those like and share competitions that were going around, you're not allowed to do that anymore. Yeah. Like and mm -hmm. share this post and, you know, we're entering you into a competition. Not allowed. Cut okay. that off. So as soon as you do that, your post would not be visible. No. And you, you, you'll you go down in the authority ranking as well. So, you know, your authority will be will be targeted by Facebook so you your posts you know won't be seen. So yes, it's um they're cracking down on all the all the cheeky little wrinkles that you know people were putting in to uh, get in, engagement. So what about asking questions? Yeah, that's always a good thing. Ask questions. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think that's I don't think I, I still don't think that's working on business pages now. Okay. Yeah. So my strategy has always been for Facebook page is to use Facebook page before we were using it to as a portfolio page to say, look, this is what we've done. You know, we've made this video. Look what it looks like. We've just we've just done this promotional video for a client. This is it. And then this year we've been well, I've been I started to do more Facebook lives um, because really. In terms of showing up. It doesn't yep. really, really a very small number of people um, see the post. So the strategy behind that was that actually the people coming onto our Facebook page are people that already know about it or if clients were searching for us and they go on the website, for example, they go on our social media profiles, they see what we're doing. So it's another like, you know, portfolio page. Yeah. Um, is that a good um, strategy? Yep. Video always ranks. So Facebook Live, um, any videos that hosted on, on actually hosted on Facebook, will rank. Will get engagement. So okay. it's no good sharing a video from YouTube because it won't rank because oh. it's an outside uh, URL. So any video that's hosted anywhere else, like Vimeo or Wistia or anywhere else, will not rank on excuse me, on Facebook, it has to be um, hosted on Facebook. Okay. So with clients, what we've been doing is either Facebook ads, you do a video and then yeah. you turn that into an ad to direct traffic to a product or service or another content that you already have. Yeah. And then take them through a journey using different types of ads from there. I think that's the way clients, that's the way businesses should be doing this, really, using sure. Facebook as an ad to, you know, to just grab that attention and then take the audience on a journey to, 
in fact, like maybe building their list, doing that email marketing and all the other marketing yeah. strategies behind it. But a lot of businesses I know have solely depended on Facebook in terms of generating traffic, but also generating revenue. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, fa Facebook video adverts out, out rank any, anything else, any other advert. So if you're good at putting a video together um, with good content, it, it will work. It will outrank a picture ad or a carousel ad. Um, yeah. Okay. Because people engage with, with video and also Facebook rank the video because it's mm -hmm. hosted, on, hosted on Facebook. Yeah. Then the other thing I also noticed with this new update was they mentioned, well, Mark mentioned something about the interactions between people in the feed. So actually not the people interacting to our video right now directly with us, but actually people interacting with themselves in the comments section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. People commenting on comments. Yeah. How do you get people to do that? How do you, you know, what strategies do you, do you use to get people to comment? You could have, you could have a few friends that are, uh, you know, in, into you and then talking between themselves on, on the, on the comments. So yeah, there are, there are ways, you know, there are ways business owners can, can get that working. So you could have business colleagues, business members, members of your team interacting with your with your comments and you know under your videos so yeah it can be it, everything everything can be manipulated but it just takes time yeah yeah, yeah. Which brings... Mark, i'm very sorry <laughs> 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 you'll have to change your algorithm again we've been banned we should... <laughs> strategy for facebook um the idea of not only just facebook i've been one for not just building your list because when you have your list you can do it, anything you like with that list facebook you know they don't have any authority over your own list which you can sell to time and time again but this idea of like building a community your own fan base um and with facebook there is the opportunity to build a proper community using the facebook groups yeah. so is this affected in any way how you end with your Facebook group? No, no. Facebook groups, Facebook groups haven't been affected. It's just businesses on Facebook, business pages. That's that's been affected. Groups yeah. haven't been affected. So and I guess more companies should be looking at building. Group down to you know the group admins, how they're how they're running it. It does the community um, interact. Um, and all that and all that sort of stuff. So now the, the groups hasn't haven't been affected. You okay. know, I'm still seeing posts from in groups and and that. So groups groups are fine. Okay. You know, it, it all depends on you know what's going on in that group. Yeah. yeah. So more more brands should be looking at building building a community on Facebook. Yeah. Building yeah. yeah. And and that's yeah. what it's all about. It's Facebook. Facebook as a community. Yeah. yeah, I think uh, Mark's trying to get back to grassroots rather than, you know, having all the businesses running his business for him. So I think he's uh, he's trying to to get back to what it was. Mm. We'll see. Yeah. So going forward, if we want to, I mean, I made some notes when I heard this, and I was like, yeah, how should how should my clients be doing this? Going forward, what are the tips like if we have to comprise, like put together how businesses should be engaging on Facebook? What would be your main tip for this? Like, what should businesses be doing? Put in if you're posting into Facebook and you've got a, a really compelling post about your business, boost it mm -hmm. for as little as five dollars a day. You can boost the post. See, I'm writing this down because I'll be using it myself. <laughs> oh, the, the invoice is in the post. <laughs> so, okay, sorry, yeah. And then um, video, use video, you, use use it, use it and abuse it, post and get Facebook to host it. 
Okay. So any videos that you've got on YouTube, download them and, and host them on host them on Facebook and post them onto Facebook. Was there something about videos not showing as well, apart from if it's a live? I think I read something. I might be mistaken. Um, mm. Let me just see. I think there was something that said, um, okay. But then what's stopping you from boosting a video at $5 a day as well? You see what I mean? It's not. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I get what you mean. Like to. See, see YouTube. If you're on YouTube, you can still not be seen on you. Still might not be seen on YouTube. No, you, there's millions of accounts on YouTube. Some haven't even got any subscribers, you know, let alone views on their videos. So it's, it's just the same. So, yeah, so $5 a day on a video, you know, getting it getting it out there, getting it seen with your link back to your business. Mm -hmm. Yes. With I a call to action, get your credit card out now. That's it, a call to action. Yeah. Um, Sign up it's now. So it's it's amazing how many companies do videos, but they don't have proper call to action. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like wasting money. It's like just um, you know. I've, I've I've just taken on a. I'm, I'm getting a bit dark in here. Do you mind if I just get up and turn the light on? Can I just do um, that? Okay. <laughs> and while Mike is turning the light on, um, it'd be good to see where he lives. Actually, <laughs> I'm in a three bedroom house in South East London. <laughs> Thanks for ju jumping on the call for me, with me because I know it was really like short notice. Literally, oh, I was, no get on the call. It was like <laughs> now today in five minutes. <laughs> didn't, even have to, didn't even have time to do my makeup. Look. <laughs> well, you know you should be prepared next time. You need well, to. Know, I'll have to. Well, no. <laughs> um, so, so, so video. Yeah. yeah. So what are you got, saying? I've got a client at the moment. So yeah. coming back to call to action yeah. and I said to them can you change your videos because when, when I originally said about videos you need to be telling your customer on the video where to either press the button or click the link it has to be said on the video I've sent the videos across again and they still haven't done it <laughs> you should have sent them to no, me <laughs> business cannot do this you know you send them to me and we would do it for them exactly exactly yeah. but some sometimes businesses want to do it all themselves yeah good but you know the person that's doing the advertising knows best yeah absolutely you actions on the video yeah definitely so make more videos make yeah. more lives if yep. you're doing a video and upload it directly onto Facebook because it gets ranked higher. Ranked higher, yeah. So I talk about this last week on my life about how you can make, you can take one digit, digital content like a video and you repurpose it for different platforms. Because I think people are getting lazy these days. Like they will do a video and just put it on YouTube, yeah? And yep. then take the link from YouTube put it on Facebook, you know, put it on LinkedIn. But I think because there's so many different platforms and, you know, it's so overcrowded that you actually need to repurpose this yeah. digital, digital content that you're creating. So I talked about how if you do one video, create a section that you upload into Facebook, a different section that you upload into LinkedIn, because LinkedIn as well now, you can actually... Um, use videos, which is great. You know, I'm right in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> I'm loving that. And um, and maybe take a snippet that you can actually use on Instagram, like in one minute or a little 30 second snippets that you can upload to your live. So it's about actually repurposing this digital content, these videos that you're creating for the different platforms to and, suit them. And when you're recording the videos, you don't have to re-record the whole video to whatever platform you're on. Just re-record the end and just chop that end bit about. So if it's click the learn more button on on Facebook, that's it. If it's click the link below on, on YouTube, that's it. That's all you need to change. 
Yeah. So you, know, you can just change the endings on on the videos to, you know, the different call to actions. Absolutely. One video. Yeah, absolutely. And I think this is how people need to start thinking. So I think one of the big takeaways for me is actually being authentic. So you cannot, like, I know with this new change, and it's actually not new, one of the things that's been picked on is actually using things like um, um, autoresponders and, um, you know, automated systems to generate your content to places like Facebook. So yes. it all comes back to authentic, authentic communication where you actually care about your audience on the different platforms and you target your message to this audience and not just treat them like, no. like, 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 you know. like cattle. Like cattle, that's it. That's it. <laughs> some, uh, which some businesses do, you know, it's, uh, you know, next, 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 next. And I think that's what Facebook wants to get away from. I think they yeah. want it to be, you know, social and, you know, engaging with your customers and, if you, if you, I mean, at the end of the day, if you get to know your customers, they will stay with you. They will buy more off of you because you know them. They know you. They'll trust you. And so, I, th I think it's a good thing. Yeah. So, okay, just a recap, and I have to ask you one question, just because yeah. I've got you on this call. But no just a recap of the strategy going forward, and it's nothing new. It's more like we are reminding businesses yeah. how you yeah. should. It's yeah. more, you know, being authentic in your communication. And I think going forward as well, not just with Facebook, but on social media platforms, I think there is this call to be, um, in, in order for you to be authentic, there is more call for you to tell stories and to show more of yourself and yeah. to bring more of the real life into how you engage, you know? Um, yeah. So perhaps this is actually a good thing for businesses because it will make them act up and Definitely. put more effort. So what you're saying is on Facebook, use more videos, do yeah. more live videos. If you're bringing a video in, make sure that you upload it directly into yeah. Facebook. You can then put it on different platforms like YouTube and LinkedIn and Instagram, but the one you use on Facebook, upload it directly yeah. into Facebook, yeah? And yeah. then what you're saying is, if you do that and you want it to be seen, to boost that. Boost the post, yeah. Boost the post or make it into an ad. Right. Also, just another golden nugget, just to end this video. Yeah. Golden nugget about video. Video adverts on Facebook. There, there is a little box within that advert construction that says you will not pay for this advert unless people watch it for at least 10 seconds. All right? It will cost you more. It won't cost you $5. It'll cost you $20 to advert, advertise for a day. But it will stop all those one-second, three-second views when people are scrolling through their timeline and the video starts. So you'll only get people that are watching your video because they want to watch the video. That's brilliant. So is that is that cool? Yeah, that's very cool. And then yeah. and then so but then so the daily budget the, the daily yeah. budget goes up by, by four times. So okay. you pay twenty dollars a day rather than five dollars a day, but you're not paying for all those one second, two second, three second, five second people that are just scrolling through their timeline. Yeah. I like that. It's a hidden I, button because obviously Facebook don't really want you to know it's there, but, you know, it's there. Yeah. So you're just paying for 10 second views and above. That's great. In fact, I'm glad you just mentioned that because one of the things I was going to ask you before you, you let this call was to give us a tip. So normally my clients would have um, – either they have a product or they have a service that um, – that is offline. So they could be a book publisher, they could be a tech company. Um, so like, you know, a traditional business. And then they're using a digital platform to direct traffic from say Facebook with a video ad. So they will always have like a, a video ad. Most of them are not really 
presence using Facebook page. So they'll have a video ad that is directing traffic to that um, product or service. And recently we've been encouraging them to do more of, um, to automate more of the marketing using funnels. So yeah. for example, not just have a video ad, but actually have a video ad that directs to an opt-in where they opt-in and then you continue that engagement. So it was email marketing, et cetera, et cetera, you know how it goes. So a lot of emphasis on using Facebook ad platform. And you've already just given us one amazing tip with that video um, yeah. functionality. Can you just give us one more in terms of the best way to go forward? Right. If, if you, the other thing is, if you're using Facebook marketing, don't send it directly to your website. Too much. There's too much noise on a website. Other buttons to click. The only button that a customer needs to click is buy now or sign me up. That's it. That's it. That's the only buttons I need to click. So to a call to action button. Yeah, call to action button. That's it. They don't need to see menu bars across the across the top of the screen. All they need is a call to action just below the video with, with you going, click the link, sign me up, get your wallet out. You know, it's simple. You've, you've got to tell the customer what to do. I love that. I love that. Um, yeah, you always actually have to direct them to a call to a call to action button, but um, not to try and sell too early. No. Yeah. No. Because give them, give yeah. them value. Give something away. Give a free ebook. Give them, you know, give them a bit of video training. Give them give give. It's it's all about giving value. Once you've given value, then you can start selling. Absolutely. Absolutely. I was just trying to see if there's any questions. Um, and then, it's, then it's all about the upsell. Absolutely. I totally agree. But I'm sure we'll go into that into that in another video. Absolutely. Yeah. So I'd love to, yeah, I'd, I'd love to do that where we actually go through those marketing funnels of the best way to drive traffic. And I'm so keen that I say to people, like, take them on a journey. So it would be good to have that conversation of how, because I deal with traditional businesses, and I say to them, do you know, you can convert the same marketing and sales journey that you have on a face-to-face to, -face to um, an online journey where you actually take somebody from a social media platform and you take them through the same thing of like getting to know your um, your brand, getting to know your service, and getting them to that place of like actually buy, you know, this is what we've got to offer. So I would love to have that conversation of the strategies behind that. No worries. Yeah, it's been great having you on. I I actually got Mike on this call because I promised him a cup of tea. Yeah. It's, and I, and I was, do you know what? He's not very expensive. Get it. <laughs> I, what? I said, here you go. Yeah, but then but then you took a sip out of it. So that's yours. But no, I gave it to you first, but you couldn't get it. So I was like, okay, well, try. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to give it to you, but you didn't take it. So um, it's been lovely having you on the call. Um, we don't really have any questions, which either means that you were brilliant and people are actually loving it. So, um, yeah, I should give you nine out of ten. Do you? Thank you. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> so this is Mike, and Mike, um, literally, he manages... Um, Facebook ads for brands of different sizes. So if you want to engage more on Facebook, um, if you want to drive traffic from Facebook, if, you, if you're one of those people that are going to be affected by the new changes coming up on Facebook, you know, mm. Mike is the person to speak to. And obviously myself, if you want to use videos on Facebook and you want to create more digital content that will help you engage, then, you know, I'm on Beeline Films. You can find it on Facebook or you can actually email me for like a B at gmail.com. And Mike, I'm going to put your contact details here as well in case somebody wants to contact you. And yeah, talk you never about know. Facebook ads. Yeah. <laughs> you need to send that to me, by the way. Yeah, no problem. I will do. Oh, yeah. they can go 
in touch with me if you face through Facebook. Just put my just put my Facebook. Um, I'm just thinking. I have your face. I have your contacts. You're in my group. You've got all my contacts. You're, you're in my my phone. You're in my email. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm just that guy. I'm getting somewhere. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mike, for joining me. More details, so just Facebook will do. I will. I'll drop that. I'll check that with you first. And um, right. yeah, no worries. Turn on the call, and um, I shall put you out while I say goodbye to my audience. And okay. um, I speak to you soon. I'll speak soon. Hi, guys. So um, that was Mike, and. I hope that was useful for you guys. I just wanted to recap while I'm still here. Now that Mike is not here, even though perhaps he can hear me, I'm going to tell you all the bad things about Mike right now. So this is it. <laughs> so just to recap on what Mike has told us, there is nothing new. They've been, you know, Facebook has already been implementing some of these things gradually. And actually, it's a good thing. It could be a good thing because it's going to make businesses be more authentic in how they show up on Facebook. So no more like just pumping information and like just putting content on Facebook with the hope that somebody's gonna you know um grab an offer. They need to be more authentic in how they engage. Um, so this is not a bad thing. And also it means that with us people that use Facebook for personal stuff as well, Facebook becomes a little bit more interesting. And if we use it for business, it means we need to put a little bit more effort in how we show up on Facebook and maybe we need to put in some money. So, hey, you know, if you run a business, that's what it takes. So in terms of going forward, we just need to be more um, aware of how we market our brand on Facebook. And some of the tips that Mike, that Mike has given us are things like, you know, use more videos, do more Facebook lives. If you're using videos, make sure to upload it directly into Facebook, even though you're still going to use that same content on the different social media platform. But if you want to use that content on Facebook, upload that video directly on Facebook to get it ranked higher. Now, the implication um, with the new changes on that, I'm not so sure how you show up or how you come up, you know, on people's timeline but if you want people to see that then either boost it or use that content as a video ad or use that image as an ad a facebook ad and then you're playing with the boy with the big boys or with the big girls um so you know you're paying for your content to be seen and then we talked about actually in terms of like Facebook ads, some of the little tips, you know, that Mike gave us, which I thought was brilliant about using, you know, selecting the, the functionality that all, you only pay for people who have seen your video for, um, I don't know, I can't remember how long he said, but using that functionality a little bit more. So I really think this is really, I'm not panicking anymore. When I posted this on LinkedIn, I said, by the end of the call, I hope to say to people, listen, keep calm. There's nothing to worry about. And this is what I'm going to say. Keep calm. There's nothing to worry about. Just be your own authentic self, you know, engage with people, tell stories, show them real life stuff, ask questions and be a real human on on not just Facebook, but in promoting your social media, in promoting your brand on social media platforms. And you know what? It's that easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed.